Read and follow all labels and the owner's manual carefully before installing or operating your machine. Hi, I'm Joel Art, Engineering Lab Manager with Miller. I'm here today to talk to you about the Trailblazer 325 Battery Charge Jump Start option. It's an add-on that we created to assist mechanics and field managers out in the field. This option will allow you to uh, charge dead batteries, also jump stubborn engines in the field, and uh, keep your crew and your fleet working all day. As always, use your personal protective equipment and take precautions when dealing with anything electrically charged. Have only qualified persons do the battery charge work. Now let's get started. Today we're going to demonstrate setup for charging an installed battery. First, if the battery negative post is grounded to the chassis, connect the positive battery charging cable to the battery positive post, then connect the negative battery charging cable to the engine block or any heavy gauge metal part of the frame away from the battery. If the battery positive post is grounded to chassis, then connect the negative clamp to the negative side of the battery and connect the positive clamp to the engine block away from the battery. Once you are hooked up, connect the battery charge plug to the battery charge receptacles. Okay, now we're hooked up. Let's set our controls for battery charging. Start by flipping the battery charger switch to on, then select the proper voltage of the battery being charged, 12 or 24 volts. Start the Trailblazer engine and charge the battery for 10 minutes. Check the battery voltage and continue charging if necessary. One note, charging current automatically stops when terminal voltage is 15 to 25% above required battery voltage. Although this safety measure is in place, you should still check your voltage frequently to ensure proper charging. So when you're finished charging, you're gonna to wanna to turn your charger off, you're gonna to wanna to turn the Trailblazer off, and then standing as far away as you possibly can from the batteries, disconnect the cable from the front of the machine. Finally, you'll notice we provide some information on the display screens. There are three main messages. First, several seconds after the battery charge is turned on, the display screen will indicate the selected charge voltage and then switch to show output voltage and amperage at the battery charging receptacle. Check bat message will display if the battery is not accepting the charge, the battery voltage does not match charging voltage, or the battery is done charging. This code may also display during jump starting. Wait for the charger to cycle three or four times, then try again. The reset code may appear if setup is done incorrectly and needs adjustment. One question I get a lot out in the field is, can I charge and use auxiliary power at the same time? Due to Trailblazer's smart core technology, you can charge and use AUGS power at the same time, and you can also weld and use the AUGS power at the same time. As you can see, this optional feature is an absolute time and productivity saver out in the field. Highly recommended. And you know that when you buy Miller, you have a quality and reliable partner. That's a quick demonstration on the Trailblazer 325 battery charge jump start option. For more information, see your Trailblazer owner's manual.